When it comes to studying and cataloguing the complexities and sheer number of celestial bodies in the infinite sprawl of the universe, it is unlikely that we will ever be able to solve all of the mysteries lurking amongst the stars. Out there, where the stars are simply too many to count, and strange black holes and comets lurk beyond the range of even the most powerful telescope, it seems that the laws of physics which reign supreme here on Earth operate under entirely different constraints. Be it hundreds of galaxies hiding in plain sight or strange radio emissions, scientists are always attempting to unravel the secrets of space. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three new discoveries and what they mean for our understanding of the wide expanse beyond our atmosphere. Scientists discover hidden galaxies behind the Milky Way. The Milky Way is only one out of hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe, an incomprehensible number which leaves almost limitless opportunities for discovery by astronomers and scientists. One problem that has prevented further study of many of these galaxies is the fact that we simply cannot see them, as our view is being blocked by none other than our own galaxy. Recently, researchers were able to peer past the Milky Way in order to view hundreds of previously hidden galaxies for the first time ever. This region of space, which is a relatively close 250 million light-years away from Earth, has long been a source of fascination for researchers seeking to understand what is known as the Great Attractor region, so-called because of its apparent gravitational tendencies to pull the Milky Way and thousands upon thousands of our neighboring galaxies towards it. Anxious to solve the mystery and at last peer around this mysterious region, a team of scientists with the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research, led by Professor Lister Stavely-Smith, came up with an ingenious solution. They used the Syro Parks radio telescope, which could view the distance required and equipped it with an innovative receiver, which allowed them to filter out the contents of our own galaxy and effectively see through the Milky Way at long last. What they discovered was truly incredible, as almost 900 galaxies were visible, with one-third of this number having never been seen before. The Parkes telescope, which was fitted with the very best space viewing technology available, is capable of accurately mapping the sky that it views through radio waves at a rate 13 times faster than previous technology, meaning that the potential for discoveries is much more rapid than ever before. As most galaxies contain upwards of 100 billion stars, this one relatively small swathe of space filled with hundreds of galaxies presents almost limitless potential for study and discovery. The current pull for research in the region is the ability to get a closer look at the Great Attractor area, which scientists have been unsuccessfully attempting to get a closer look at for decades, ever since significant anomalies to the theory of universal expansion were brought to light. Lead study author Professor Stavely Smith spoke on the significance of the region, which is pulling the Milky Way towards it with a gravitational pull equal to that of a million billion suns by saying, the Milky Way is very beautiful, of course, and it is very interesting to study our own galaxy, but it completely blocks out the view of the more distant galaxies behind it. We do not actually understand what is causing this gravitational acceleration on the Milky Way or where it is coming from. We know that in this region, there are very few large collections of galaxies we call clusters or superclusters, and our whole Milky Way is moving towards them at more than 2 million kilometers per hour. And, although initial research of the findings mapped by the Parkes radio telescope is still ongoing, so far scientists have identified three galaxy concentrations and two galaxy clusters that could be responsible for the mysterious and inexplicable pull being exerted on the Milky Way. The black hole at the center of the Milky Way may be something even more mysterious. If there is one element of space that continues to mystify scientists, it is black holes, and the gaping black hole at the center of the Milky Way, named Sagittarius A star, is perhaps one of the most mysterious of them all. For starters, astronomers have long observed the strange flashing bursts of radio waves, X-rays and gamma rays being emitted in regular intervals from Sagittarius A star, 
but recent observations of bursts that were up to a hundred times brighter than the regular bursts made researchers believe that even more mysterious elements might be at play, and they were eager to find out more. To accomplish this feat, they began to analyze the 15 years of data collected by NASA's Neil Gayrell's Swift Observatory Satellite, which is dedicated to detecting gamma-ray bursts like those seen coming from Sagittarius A star. The team, made up of international researchers led by Alexis Andres, were looking for any sort of regular patterns or activity that might tell them a little bit about these strange occurrences. Although no clear patterns emerged, they did notice that the frequency increased greatly between the years 2006 and 2008, with a much lower rate of activity the following four years before picking back up again in 2012. However, this second, more recent batch of bursts appears to follow a much different pattern from the first, puzzling researchers even more. As observation is one of the only methods we currently have at our disposal to research such enigmas as black holes, scientists hope that adding this backlog of data to the findings unfolding in present day will help to remove some of the mystery surrounding these central flares. Further study will hopefully be able to tell us exactly what is causing these bursts, be it from passing gaseous clouds, stars, or something else altogether. Co-author of the study, Dr. Jakob van den Eden from the University of Oxford said, how the flares occur exactly remains unclear. It was previously thought that more flares follow after gaseous clouds or stars pass by the black hole, but there is no evidence for that yet. And we cannot yet confirm the hypothesis that the magnetic properties of the surrounding gas play a role either. And certainly, when it comes to solving this mystery, having access to databases full of observations taken over the past 15 years helps tremendously as researchers look to the environment around Sagittarius A star for clues that could help them piece together this massive, mysterious puzzle lurking at the centre of our galaxy. Weird nearby gamma-ray burst defies expectations it seems that every time researchers think that they have nailed down how one aspect of space functions, an anomaly shows up and forces them to rethink everything that they thought they knew. Most recently, scientists were able to have front row seats to an incredible gamma ray burst captured by NASA's space observatories Fermi and Swift and originating from the area of space near the Eridanus constellation in the Southern Hemisphere, a rather close 1 billion light years away. The burst and its subsequent afterglow took place over several days, as scientists watched and carefully recorded the progress, eager to learn more about how gamma-ray bursts form and what happens in their wake. The only problem was that the burst did not seem to follow the typical rules that had been loosely laid down by previous occurrences. Due to the proximity of the spectacle, scientists observing from Earth were able to record much higher energy photons than are typically able to be observed in these instances, as the higher energy photons from farther away usually never reach Earth because they are instead absorbed in collisions with background light. Using mobilized gamma-ray telescopes to observe the 13-hour-long explosion, the research team was able to analyze these unusually high levels of photons, which revealed something very intriguing. Surprisingly, the analysis of the radiation emitted from the recent gamma-ray burst revealed a radiation pattern that was very similar to that of X-rays, a fact that was both shocking and one of the last things that astronomers would have expected, as the two instances are believed to be caused by entirely different phenomena and to cause two different types of radiation. Because they are so mysterious, nobody is quite sure exactly how gamma-ray bursts are formed. Some think that they are caused when massive stars up to 10 times the size of the Sun explode, leaving behind equally mysterious black holes in their wake. Still, others hypothesize that they are generated through the collision of two neutron stars, which also has been shown to cause a black hole. The recent analysis of the properties of these high-powered gamma rays has forced researchers to consider whether they might have been wrong about the provenance of these mysterious bursts altogether, and many researchers have gone back to the drawing board to attempt to discover why such different phenomena as gamma rays and X-rays would have such similar signatures. 
One of the reasons why research in this area is so limited and full of guesswork is due to the fact that only four gamma-ray bursts have been able to be captured from Earth, leaving astronomers to attempt to discern patterns from a rather small dataset. Luckily, scientists are hopeful that recent advances in space viewing technology and instruments will assist in closing this gap, providing more observational data to support current hypotheses and help to solve the mystery of gamma-ray bursts once and for all. But what do you make of these space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.